Might want to look around some. Bloody fight looks like. Folk in the tavern didn't stand a chance. Tracks lead north. Trail's gone cold. Mm. Need to look around. See if I can pick it up again. Someone was wounded. Started bleeding heavily. Hmm. Took a traveler hostage, I guess. Blood trails the hostages. Must have been a burden if they left him here to die. Lost the trail. Gotta look around for something else. Wonder what this means. Found it. Leads this way. here. Hmm. Dirt and ground cover concealing a hatch. Secret passageway?
go your way. I'll go mine.
surface here, dig their way out. surface here, dig their way out. surface here, dig their way out.
surface here, dig their way out.
For fuck's sake!
pleased to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. For I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed, I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. The diagrams. They're duplicates. Ready? In fact, yes. They are yours to take with my gratitude. Thanks. Farewell to you. some. Come on, come closer.
being a fisherman these days. He's got beasts prowling neath the waves, raiding. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at here. Bronze with just a lick of gold on it. What shit means the Redanian coffers are near empty. Might be time to cross the pot <coughs> See if there's any work for us there. You post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. Almost worse it gets. Radovid was late with our pie a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. First of all... to shreds. Human. No sign of another corpse. Mm -hmm. Flying monster. Gripped the second body in its claws. Didn't quite get everything to its nest.
rocks end here. Damn birds must have picked the ground clean, but they've already found the rest of the corpse, probably. All I gotta do is follow the cawing. Well, any progress? Monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch grateful. Your reward. Thank you. And in the future, try summoning a witcher before any blood's spilt.
Honor in the fatherland. Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. What happened? What happened, damn it? Is that I fell and cracked me damn leg in two? Stop whining, Peter. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. Worst case, Henrik will whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice, stinks, and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? How do you fall? We set out to light a fire there, atop of the statue's shoulders, for our own glory and that of our ancestors. Looks like you succeeded. Aye, but the fire won't big so quick Petter jumped back, lost his balance. Got lucky anyway. Could have broken his neck falling from that height. This statue, what is it? An altar to the god of warriors. Any man who dares climb it and light the fire gains the favor of the gods. Fame and... And an excellent chance of snapping his leg off at the arse. Are you going to help me or are you going to continue preaching? This celandine should help you. Won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude, that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. 
Thanks again. God's guide ye. some. Come on.
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. You and Arkhamon? Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I, I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any word. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the dead white wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Nice, a bitch.
herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Blood. Dried. A few days old. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Talk to the wife. Judd! Sharp now! Oh. With company! What's brought you to these parts, Master? Lost your way? No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard howling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. Well, he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. And the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. So long. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Found some witnesses. Claim wolves attacked him. He survived at first, then went back in the woods to harvest more herbs. His luck ran out. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Mannered. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. I trust it will serve you well.
Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Ha <laughs> But my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. You a craftsman, or a mage? Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria. Runecraft? Familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications has my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than runestone set haphazardly. Such words, too, can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain, your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest cliff. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. Can't help but wonder what brings you to our lands. A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risk that long a journey to learn new words? A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world for a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world's tongue to learn, I wish. The signs by which it speaks to discover, their syntax to master. Through this, to learn the principles of creation. The way you talk about your art sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. Yet in my land, holy men are scholars. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Afiri believe in any gods? From region to region this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. Hmm. Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols? Meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these. An attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them there is. And from God all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. Thanks. So long.
It is to see you again. Quite a pleasure. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? And in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Duty calls. Mages. Ooh. They're non humans. Ah! How are you, honey? Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? What do you have on offer? So long. Honor in the The butcher of Blamakin. No, I head out again. <laughs> Ah, oh. double chase. Finally, someone oh, took pity. Take your time. Fire will light our way. Wild hunts take you all. No lollygagging. Praised be the world in its never-ending creation. Got some coin on me. This enough? Uh, start it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. 
See what I can do. some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Want to try my luck there. Jade here. Need to keep looking. Extract some.
made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice, you see. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Got lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so I invite you. Thanks. So long. Hi, oh, mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geard von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgierd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. 
Because we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> you folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old geared von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge, you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved a long pike up your ass? <laughs> 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 all right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Sculpture isn't really my thing. Can't blame you. Contemporary art's become superficial and bland. A century on, they'll be using just such nudes on placards to hawk bricks and other banalities. Mark my words. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgierd, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. This some special occasion? Or just feel like feasting? Every occasion's special. 
Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her. Fair sabre, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fur sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince, and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. Hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the lord of the manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Papers. Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabres. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? actually seen his corpse? No, but Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. The Yeah, 
Greetings, I fear. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me?
so long. Does it happen to faultist again? like solutions reagents wonder what's cooking smells of huh. they were cooking fist tech took most of the equipment when they left what was broken true is true can be dangerous trade narcotics open window boot print on the bed somebody was in a hurry Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Stopped here for a second. Hid, then ran on. Forehead must be Clivert, bolt in the back. 
went in deep so a close range shot from the village where that direction looks like. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting? Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two... Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six... Great start. Now step aside. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 
Ten team. You mean? Twenty four. Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned. Or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colours. And we must find a new place in this world. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would... But how do you even... I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia. Jacques de Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant! Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. I live! Ha! I die! I live again! Witness me, brothers! Get him from the land! <laughs> ah!
shall be over soon. Here, Witcher, Witcher. <laughs> Where you think you're going, Mucker? Why do you even care? You're in the military operation zone. And our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Fine, I'll pay. That, I understand. Exemplary patriotism, mate. Fuck. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Well, the witcher. 